First, coming back to sort of the question of how we achieve our uh, ambitious, urgently necessary uh, climate targets by 2030, accomplish the sustainable development goals uh, by 2030. Um, I find a useful starting point to think about where is catalytic capital necessary, just looking at the volume of capital flows to different sustainable development goals, looking at the most underfunded, and then seeking out opportunities to deploy capital um, into potentially effective opportunities within those areas. And it's, again, there are many heuristics we could use. I find that to be a pretty simple and clear one. And I suppose an interesting counterpoint to um, your point about, you know, the capital that's been unleashed domestically in the US, we're not seeing necessarily commensurate trillions of dollars flowing to other geographies, other issue areas. And that's the reality of the challenge that we face. We need money to be moving both at scale in ways that it has not uh, historically, and we need to be we need money to be moving in very different forms. And I think that's one of the really interesting tensions um, for us to explore within these conversations about catalytic capital. How do we balance the need to get um, fundable uh, structures to scale with the recognition that solving many problems or affecting systemic transformational impact in specific issues in specific places doesn't come via financing vehicles that can or should get to scale. And so thinking about scale, of course, through getting individual uh, vehicles to bigger numbers, also getting scale through replication. You know, I think there are every single one of those uh, examples, John, that you spelled out. We need like hundreds of each of those <laughs> as fast as possible. And I think the, the message about catalytic capital being, you know, the R&D of the impact ecosystem is really important. And, and Tracy, I, I would humbly challenge anybody who would, claim that the, the social impact bond experiment has been a failure in any way. I think I'm not a scientist, but the point of an experiment is to generate learnings that wouldn't otherwise have been generated that can then be built upon, iterated, tested in different contexts. What's so successful to me about social impact bonds, why it's such an important example for us uh, to heed, is the way that we've seen the replication of the format, the adaptation of the format in lots of different contexts. And I think it's it's a good challenge to all of us in this ecosystem to say, how many of these innovative structures have we put forward that have achieved that kind of replicated scale? Have we really just produced one innovative structure that's done that? We need so many more. We need to be replicating the experiment of social impact bonds we need to be replicating these formats in lots of different places, adapted to lots of different issue areas as rapidly as we can. And that's why we need cap catalytic capital to move abundantly, to move courageously. And again, coming from my particular vantage point, working with private asset owners, I think that is the essential call to private asset owners to step up with courage and creativity to use the flexibility, the nimbleness that private asset owners are often celebrated for having, but can, frankly, don't always demonstrate. That's the challenge to us, and we, we've got to answer the call.